Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to reset your flash counter so it goes back to 1. The links are going to be in the description. This works on any rooted phone. Make sure you are rooted. If you are not rooted, don't try this. Okay, this is a Galaxy Note 2 and GTN 7100. And uh, I downloaded the app. Uh, I installed the app. It's going to tell you it needs to download something and then it's going to tell you hit OK, you hit OK, and then it's going to tell you to donate some bullshit, you hit OK, and then it gets you to this menu right here. Once you get to this menu right here, all you're going to do is put reset flash, continue, and there it is there. We're gonna wait until this turns on. You have to give it a second, guys. Be patient. <laughs> I know I'm not a patient person either. But hey, sometimes you have to be patient. There it is there. And it tells you flash count. I've done it twice. So let's bring it back to one. It says press volume up to reset the counter status. Okay. And it is done. Press volume up to reboot normally. And it is done. That's basically it. Now you can flash your regular firmware, your regular uh, official uh, ROM from from wherever you're using. If you're using a AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, whatever you're using. I don't, I don't use none of that shit, so I ain't got to worry about none of that bullshit. But I just wanted to show you guys that, yes, it's easy and it is possible to reflash your, your counter back on your, pretty much on any, ga on any ga Galaxy device. You just have to know how to do it. Okay, let's go back. And let's see if it really worked. Okay, remember before I said twice, right? Now We'll see how many times it says. Now remember, you have to be rooted. You have to be on on a, on a rooted phone for this to for this to be able to work. If you're not on a rooted phone, this is not going to work, okay guys? So make sure you're rooted. Up, oh, and it goes back and it says 1, okay? So now, we're going to press volume down to reboot. And as you can tell, it all went good. Now I would just flash my original firmware and I got warranty back on deck. So that's how easy it is, guys. Links are going to be in the description to all, all the files that you need. You pr pretty much all you need is that uh, triangle away and, and you need patience because this does take a little bit of time to do and you see how long it took from start to finish okay and then the ver verifying if it did it actually work so peace guys you guys let me just show you that it's not gonna fuck up anything some people always say oh you fucked up my phone no you fucked up your phone okay you see we gotta go we gotta go.